Hello! In the previous videos, we saw how you can use the drag and drop interaction to create a one to one and many to one type of interaction. Now, let us see how we can create mathematical exercises fun way using the drag and drop interaction which is available for Captivate customers who are on subscription or have ASA support. Let me show you one such exercise that I have created. It is with a twist. So here is the math exercise that I have created and here the learner has to drag and drop these numbers so that the two numbers that they drag and drop here equal to 5. So now here there can be six different possibilities. There can be 0 plus 5 which can become 5, it can be 5 plus 0, it can be 4 plus 1, 1 plus 4, 3 plus 2 and 2 plus 3. So six possible answers and all of them are correct. Now we need to have an interaction which allows any of these combinations to be correct for the learner. So if I choose 1 plus 4, it should be correct. And if I do 1 plus 2, it should indicate to me that that's not right and I have to redo the interaction. Let's try doing the error again and still I get a chance to do the uh, answer the question again. So here if I go and place the right combination which is one of the correct combination, I get the answer right and I get complete score for that particular question. Isn't it interesting? Let's see how we can create this using the new interaction added to Captivate. So here I have a file uh, that has all these numbers added to it. I've just uh, created these numbers as different images and have added them. And then I have labeled them as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and of course 0. Then what I've done is I have created two placeholders here where I will be dropping those numbers. So this first placeholder, I've named it as drop area one and this placeholder, I have named it as drop area two. So that it, this can be the place where uh, you decide whether the answer is correct or not. After naming all these things, we will go on to create the drag and drop interaction on top of it. But before we do that, let me show you how I created this placeholder. One of the ways can be that you create a smart shape with this dimension. Another cool way is to take the broadest number uh, that you find here, which in this case is 0, duplicate it and then go and change the alpha level to 0 which will make it invisible yet you will get the placeholder right so here if you see i have set the alpha level to zero but if i take the alpha level to 100 you will find that it's zero there and not a blank object so here this is the best way i think of to create placeholders when you don't want to reveal what is there and it is of the exact dimension. You don't have to uh, check what is the dimension and then add another object and uh, make sure it's correct. And it, it especially helps when it's an irregular object. And uh, suppose you have uh, a toy that you're adding or you have some image which has some transparent pixels. It becomes really important that you have that object right over there so this is a cool way of doing it and then the second object also you can see that it's actually zero which i have changed to alpha level um oh, sorry this which is zero which uh, to which i have changed the alpha level to zero now let's uh, create the interaction so i will go to insert and that is this launch drag and drop interaction wizard very easy to create a drag and drop interaction using that this so uh, all you have to do is identify the draggables and then identify the drop areas and then show the association three steps three simple things to do in these steps so in this step i will just select the draggables which will uh, add a green boundary around it so that i know these are drag objects once you're done with it just click next and in the next step it allows you to um, identify the drop target so here i have an invisible box which i have to choose i'll choose the other one as well and these are my drop targets which are uh, with a blue bounding box for me to identify easily 
done and I click next and now I have to show the association. Now obviously you can't show all six associations here because it allows only one but uh, just do one right combination here and I'll show you a secret place where you can set the rest of the five combinations. So let's uh, have zero and five here and then I will hit finish so that we have uh, the interaction ready on the stage. I will just move this text caption out of the way so that we can work on it. Now with this set, what you have to do is you have to go to the correct answers section. Click this and it will show you the combination that you have already set. We need five more such combinations and any of these combinations can be uh, can lead to the correct answer. So here at the first place it should be zero and the second place it should be five. We need to add another one which you can do by clicking add new answer here it's very easy to choose the answers drag uh, sorry drop area one and this should be five uh, and the second drop area should be zero done now i have to add the second one here i will choose four and one And then I will choose one and four. Simple. Just keep adding answers and you will be able to add as many answers as you want for this interaction. So I will add one here and then in drop area two, I will add four. Okay. Very cool. Now let's go to the fifth one. Just last two remaining. I have to do a two, three and a three, two. So this is two. I'll go to drop area 2 and add 3 here, add new answer and this is the last one where I will set 3 as my first answer and 2 as the second answer. So all set, once we are done with all these uh, answer options ready, just click OK and your interaction is ready to be used for your course. Looks very difficult and complicated, but very simple to implement with Captivate. Thanks for watching this video and do try it out.